Hey there, it's me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. Yeah, that's right, I'm the guy with the hat and the moustache. Thank you very much, uh, David from Seattle. Okay, so let's get started. Right, so here I've got this car graphic that I've been working on. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is make sure... Actually, first of all, I'm going to ungroup this, and I'm going to turn this into a compound path. Right, I've got a really good reason for doing that, so Command-8 to do that, because shortcuts... Oh, fantastic. I've got this white highlight on here and what I'm going to do is change the blend mode of that to overlay and then I've got this detailing just here and I'm going to change the blend mode of that to color burn like so. I think that's working pretty well. And then I've got a couple of symbols just here, two symbol instances. And let's just have a quick look at these in my symbols panel. You'll see that if I just double click on the number eight just here, this first instance of eight, you can see that's aligned to the left, okay, of the registration point. And if I double click on the next number eight, that one's aligned to the right. And I've got one of each of those, okay, here at the moment. And I'm going to group those together, and then I'm going to add a new fill. So let's take a look at my appearance panel. And I'm not going to use the button down at the bottom here, although I could. I'm going to hold down command, that would be control on Windows, and hit the slash key on my keyboard. And there you go, I've got a new fill, undocumented joker. Okay, cool, and now I'm going to change the colour of that, just so you can see that it is there. But at the moment, that's being drawn on top of the content. So I'm going to drag that down underneath the contents, and then keep it targeted. I'm going to go to my effects just here, and down to path, or up to path. And I'm going to choose Offset Path, and I think I'll offset this by, let's go with a couple of millimetres just here, or whatever measurement you like. I'll set the joins to round, because that will resolve any angles, and hit OK. But I'm still not done, because I want to get rid of all these little gaps. So what I'm going to do is keep that targeted, back to the effects, up to Pathfinder, and I'm going to choose Merge. Boom! Suddenly they're all joined together. Now I'm going to change this to white just here, I think, like so. And then I'm going to drag that up onto the artwork of the car, like so. So that's very nice just there where it is. Excellent. Bring that up just a shade further. And I'm going to target the highlighting shape here and bring that to the front. So that gives a little bit of gloss highlight potentially on the other colors there. Great stuff. Now I've got all of that, I'm going to select everything I've got just there. I'm going to go to the Symbols panel and create a new symbol. I'm going to call this one Car, because it's kind of descriptive. Okay, I'm going to hit OK, and there's my car. Now you might be thinking, yeah, great, you've got a car, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to Option or Alt Drag. Okay, a few more instances. Now, this one here... What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my direct selection tool and I'm going to click on that bodywork and then I'm going to change the colour. And that's something you can only do with newer symbols. Now look at that. You can see that the colours change nicely there. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to choose another colour here. What colour shall we go with this one? Blue? Okay, we'll do blue. That's really good. You know what though? I'm not sure about that detailing graphic there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click to go into editing mode for the symbol. I'm going to target that detailing. I'm going to change the blend mode. Let's change it from that to maybe color dodge. Let's have a look at how that works. Okay, let's double click outside. You'll see everything there updates. Okay, no, still not happy with that. So I'm just going to go ahead, do it again, click on it. This time, I'm going to choose something closer to multiply just here, I think, or maybe even overlay soft light. Let's do that. We'll try all of them in a minute. Okay, there we go. So now we've got that working. You can see that's working pretty well. Now I'll go ahead and target the last of the cars down here. This time I'm going to choose a pattern. I'm going to choose a pattern that my friend Vaughn did. And he, of course, Von Glitchka, is another speaker at Creative Pro Week. I'm going to choose one of his crazy, crazy patterns. Now here's a news flash. This pattern. It's got holes in it. Look, suddenly grey background. <gasps> How can I get around that? 
I'm going to hold down the command key on my Mac. That would be control on Windows and hit the slash key. <gasps> I've added a new fill again. Crazy, crazy man. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag that down beneath the contents. Yes, even of this symbol instance. And I think I'm going to change that for... Let's change it for a yellow. No, not enough contrast. Let's change it for a deep orange. There we go. That looks just like my actual car. It doesn't really. I'm lying. Let's go ahead now and play with some of the other symbols here. So remember, I've got these symbols in this group. I'm going to choose the replace option here to replace this one with the number one from the left hand side. I'm going to click on the eight here and replace that with the number seven left aligned. Oh, I said left aligned. There we go. No, I want right aligned for that one. I'm going to go to this car here. I'm going to change this eight for a two. OK, I need the other two. <laughs> there we go. I'm working too quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the number eight. And I'm going to change this for the number one on the right. Amazing. Now, from the same symbol. Cool. There we go. That's it. That's been me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.